All right, this is a video on cutter radius compensation, cutter tool compensation rather. I have a print here. It's a uh, four inch by four inch block with a two by two inside of it. And all we have to do is follow the path. Okay, bottom left corner is X zero, Y zero. We're going to start at this point and we're gonna go in a clockwise direction. However, we're not going to be engraving. We're going to be using a half-inch cutter. So if I use cutter radius, radius compensation, I can it'll offset half the diameter of the cutter. And I'm going to be using a half-inch cutter. And if we look at this print here, it shows us what it's going to look like. I have a half-inch band all the way around. I'm going to leave the 2 inch by 2 inch inside and cut a, a trough all the way around it. Um, here's our radius. Uh, if I use a half inch cutter, it's automatically going to form us a quarter inch radius in these corners. Um, let's just go ahead and pull up CNC base. And we're going to go to File, New. And we have to pick a tool. So I want to make sure I'm using the right tool. So under Tools, select Library Tool, I need to find a half inch cutter. It's not number two, I think it's number six. It's number six. Number six is a half inch diameter cutter and it's an end mill. So we'll say okay to that and the first thing I'm going to do is general um, programming with a G90 absolute programming. We'll enter that. We're going to use the inch system G70 M06 T6 for half inch cutter and if you want to put a semicolon for later reference to let you know that's a half inch cutter we can go ahead and put in half inch end mill cutter okay and when it reads that when it gets that semicolon it will skip to the next line so this is just to let the operator know what the tool number six is going to be doing um, M03 S for speed and we're going to give it about 600 RPMs or maybe 800 for a half inch cutter and now we need to go ahead and position ourselves Actually, no, we're going to go ahead and offset the diameter for the cutter. So if we go under Setup and we go to Offsets, it's showing right now it's offsetting a quarter of an inch, which would be right for a half inch cutter. If there's anything less than that, we would need to change it. We would change it right here by typing in 0.25 and hitting OK. So if I put in a, a G41, that's going to offset to the left of the cutter. And I'll show you what I mean here. I'm going to be, my tool is going to be in this area here, going this way, so my tool will be to the left of this line. So G41, and if I put a D1 in it, actually I'm going to put a space here, D1, ones turn things on, zeros turn things off. And now I can go ahead and position myself. So I'm going to say G00 X 1.0 Y 1.0 and take Z within 100,000 Z.1. Enter that. Now let's pull a tool bit down. The G01 Z minus 0 0.05 um, 50 thousandths per cut. And I'm going to go ahead and give it a feed rate of maybe 15. That would be 15 inches per minute. Now, I can go ahead and start traveling around my workpiece. So if I say Y um, 3.0, enter, X 3.0, enter, Y 1.0, enter, and X 1.0, enter. Now, if I wanted to go multiple passes, let's just say if I wanted to go 100 thousandths deep, and I've already gone 50 thousandths, the easiest way to do that now would be copy and paste right mouse copy that and paste it this time I'm going to I don't need that feed rate anymore it doesn't hurt anything but I'm going to get rid of it and say my depth now is a hundred thousandths and I'm going to call that it so but I have to make one more well let me go ahead and cancel this and I'll show you what I'm talking about I'm going to show you an error right now I've already gone around the pad going around the part two times 
I'm going to pull my tool bit up and count some offset G00, Z3.0, enter, X0, y, uh, Y0, enter, and M2. Now if I verify that, okay, war warning, cutter compensation should be counted before programming in. Okay, I didn't cancel my cutter compensation, so I need to exit out of that and turn this volume down. Makes that weird noise. So I'm going to put my cutter comp cancel right here. That's what I wanted to show you. That's one of the things I want to show you. G40 space D0 turns it off. Let's verify again. And it says normal program stop. But right here we have a little bit of a divot. And I'm going to show you what we can do to, to fix that. Whenever it went around the first time and the second time, it stopped right at this point right here. So I need to bring it up into this area just a little bit. So right here, I can go ahead and enter. And I can say Y go up 1.25. That's It went up to, to where it started right here plus half of the cutter. That should work well. Verify that. There. Now we don't have that little area there anymore. Now that I'm through with that, like always, I was telling you earlier, if we go to Edit and click on Renumber, if I click on Renumber Encodes, I can start my code on 1, and I'm doing it in increments of 10. If you don't want increments of 10, you can get rid of it and say increments of 1. Or you can always change that later and click Do It. And now we have spaces and we have numbers, and I know that this is a 21-line program. Okay, now I'm going to minimize that, and we have a couple things down here. Under Immersive, if you go to View Course, right now, okay, and go to Principles of CNC, and under Resources, here's Cutter Compensation. And I already have that pulled up down here. And it has lots of different information right here. I'm going to go back to the one I had. It's showing G40 cancels it. G41 offsets to the left of the program path. A G42 offsets to the right of the program path. So the way I have always explained it was uh, G41 is, is odd. That's an odd number. So it would be to the left. Most people are right-handed and uh, it would be more evenly um, if someone was right-handed and it's more odd if someone was left-handed. not saying that left-handed people are odd. Uh, I have left-handed friends and my dad's left-handed and everything else. But anyway, that's beside the point. Uh, it's just one way I've always learned or thought about G41 is kind of odd so that would be to the left of the program path and G42 is, is an even number, and it's to the right of the program path. Um, if we get down here, all of y'all have all of this information on Immersive. Um, here's how the program starts. We're, here's tool number one, and notice that this right here is the part path, and this is the programmed path. Okay, So they're starting off, they're using uh, um, tool number 12, with their M6, it's a little bit of a different type of a program they're using. But they're still using a G41 saying that we're offsetting to the left of the program path. There's where tool number two goes, tool three, four, five, six, all the way on around until it gets to tool 13, where tool 13 goes all the way beyond the programmed path. And then right here is where they canceled their offset, G40. And I think that's probably, nope, this is a different uh, programming method here. But anyway, uh, this is the one I was mo mostly concerned with, with the G41. And um, it may have a G42 further down. But it's still using G43s. Here's another G41 example. But anyway, here's a lot. They have lots of examples on Immersive, 
And if you have any questions, we will discuss this come Thursday. And that's it for right now.